a search, how you should do it on your own time, and uh, what goes into that. And um, what's interesting is this is a continuation of our series on building a resume, utilizing a resume, and the steps involved to getting a job. And with resume, um, with the resume search comes the balance of work and personal. And for some reason, as I don't know if it's the millennials, I don't know if it's people just um, just don't understand the balance. And I apologize because of my allergies this morning, but um, I've had it since this morning. I have no voice. But when people do a job search, for some reason, they think of, okay, I'm at work. I'm going to use the office printer. And I'm going to use the, uh, um, the office direct line or my office voicemail. And I'm going to um, give people my numbers, not only in terms of my office number, I'm going to do it on office stationery. And people don't understand not only with this job search in terms of that All they I can should be say done is personal, right, personal time, but um, it's, it's amazing. And what I have always said, and I've, I've said on the show, you wanna, you're more marketable employed than unemployed. And for a, for a number of reasons, you have to do that balance. You have to do things on your own time. So just to break it down a little bit, first of all, when you write your resume, put your personal email on it and put your um, personal phone number on it. Cell number. And, and, this, and the number you should use is your cell number. Don't use your home number because when employers call you, they're calling you during the day most of the time. It's unusual when an employer will call you at night. So what's going to happen is if you put your home number and then you only check that phone at night, it's going to be an endless circle. So that's the first thing. Now, that's we, a good point, Mark. 